is one of the most fascinating sport and the art that kept engaging a lot of audience worldwide. It needs a lot of practice, concentration and dedication. Today we are going to understand about one of the most inspiring story of a simple boy whose focus, determination and faith has led him to become the finest usher in the world. It's a 5000 year old back story. It kept inspiring through the ages. Watch this video till the last. You will find the golden learnings from this story for a lifetime. In ancient India, there was a teacher called Dronacharya who was known for teaching archery and different skills in warfare. Children of royal families got trained under him and one of the student known as Arjun was favorite to him. He has promised to him that he will make the, him the finest archer in the world. On the other side, deep in the forest, there lived a community and the chief of community had a son called Ekalavya. Ekalavya was a determined boy who was very much interested in learning and mastering the art of archery. He wanted to learn the archery under Dronacharya and want to become master over it. He expressed his interest in front of his father and convinced him. Then on one day, he raised the school of Dronacharya. He has seen him teaching and also training Arjun along with other children in the art of archery. He went near to Dronacharya, bowed him in front of him and introduced him as Ekalavya who was son of a chieftain in the forest community. Then Dronacharya asked him what was his purpose of reaching to the school. Then Ekalavya expressed his interest that he wanted to learn the art of archery. Then Dronacharya said he teaches and trains to the children of royal families and the royal clan. He can't teach it to a person who belongs to a lower community and who dwells in the forest. Then Arjuna said that there is no purpose for him to standing in the school. He asked him to leave immediately. With a heavy heart, saddened and he did not utter a single word. He felt very much insulted and left that place. He went back into the forest. Being a determined person, he wanted to learn, learn the art of archery. Nikolai made idol of his teacher Dronacharya with mud and placed it under a tree and he put a complete faith in him that he is the teacher, he is going to teach him the art of archery. Taking the support of mother nature and faith in his master, he started practicing archery day and night. With relentless efforts, as the years passed, he became the finest archer. Then one day, along with all his students, Dronacharya has went to the forest for, for hunting. He wanted to measure the skills of all his students. As the students were roaming in the forest, they heard at a distance a dog barking continuously. Then in a shortest time, the dog got silent. They wanted to see what actually happened to the dog. When they reached to the dog, they were surprised to see at the dog. Someone has shot the arrows in the quick succession. Seven arrows shot in the mouth of a dog without injuring it. So the idea behind shooting the arrows is to silence the dog from barking. They were stunned and surprised to see such a marvelous archery where a person has shot the arrows without injuring the dog. They wanted to know who the person was. They went in the searching. There they have found a person. Went and asked, was it he who shot the arrows at the dog? He said, yes. Immediately Arjuna asked who was his teacher. Then he said, it's Dronacharya. Arjuna got surprised. How can his teacher cheat him? And promised him that he'll make him the finest watcher. And he got surprised to see this person. He shot the arrows in such a way that it's difficult for the Arjun to master that. Then immediately Arjun went to Dronacharya, told him the Ekalavya. As soon as Ekalavya saw Dronacharya, he bowed down at his feet and expressed the greetings. Dronacharya asked, how did he master the art of archery? Then Ekalavya said, it is you, teacher, under who your guidance, I learned the art of archery. Then he got surprised. Dronacharya again asked, I didn't see you earlier. Then Ekalavya said, Teacher, I have reached you a few years back for, to teach me the art of archery, but you refused it. I came back to the forest, made your idol and started practicing in front of it. As soon as Dronacharya heard it, he was completely shocked and surprised to see and he feel himself elated to see Ekalavya getting expertise in 
Archery. Immediately Dronachara recollected the promise that he has made to Arjun that he will make Arjun the finest warrior and he knows that and he was sure that Ekalavya will become a threat as well as he can surpass Arjuna soon. Then immediately Dronachara asked Ekalavya that he has learned under his tutelage he has to offer gift for the training. In olden days there was a custom as soon as the trainings get completed under the master or the teacher the students has to give a small gift according to the wish of the teacher. So Ekalavya felt very happy and elated. He said as Dronachara accepted him to be his student he is happy to give any kind of gift. Then Dronachara turning his back asked him to offer him the right thumb of Ekalavya. Dronachara asked this right thumb he could not see directly into the eyes of Ekalavya. Everyone was shocked and surprised because if Ekalavya gives his right thumb, then what are the, whatever the efforts he has learned through all his lifetime will get ruined. He will never become an archer again in his lifetime. Ekalavya understood the intentions of his teacher. Without wasting the time, he immediately pulled out the knife from his waistband and cut off his thumb and placed it at the feet of Dronachary. For a moment, everything stood standstill. Dronacharya, Arjun, all the students were shocked and surprised to see such courage from this boy. Dronacharya was speechless from a moment. They regained his consciousness and said, My boy, whatever the sacrifice is did will be known far and wide. You will still be an finest archer in this world. With the four fingers that you have, still you can master the art of archery. By saying this, Dronacharya and the students left that place. Ekalavya, even after losing his thumb, he used his four fingers and still practiced the art of archery. Still he could become the best archer and later in the life, he became the leader of his community. Ekalavya's story is always an inspiration. With faith in what we believe, practice with perseverance and patience, focus on what we are doing, will always bring the best talents in ourselves. I hope you got inspired through this story. Keep on watching whenever you feel you have failed you can't learn the skill, you can't develop yourself, then this story will keep on inspiring you. As this teacher promised, he will keep on inspiring as the ages it's been. Thanks for watching. Let's meet again in another interesting and motivating video.